start, you're gonna need a serger and we're using a baby lock 1034D. And also just a regular domestic sewing machine. And this is a Singer heavy duty. And the links for these machines will be in the description. You'll need fabric and you can pretty much use whatever fabric you want. You can use an air filtering fabric or you can use a more stylish fabric fleece. Pretty much whatever fabric you want will work. And you'll need your pattern and it's available at properfitclothing.com. So go ahead, print it off and cut it out. And this pattern comes with two different style face masks and we're gonna show you how to do both of them. We're gonna start off with the harder of the two masks. So go ahead and place the face panel on the fold of your fabric, trace it and cut it out. Next, take the nose panel, place it on the fold and you can just use a little piece of scrap because this is not a big piece. Trace it and cut it out. And then the same goes for the mouthpiece, place it on the fold, trace it and cut it out. And for this piece, you can use a more breathable fabric or you can use a air filtering fabric. It's totally up to you. And then you should end up with one nose piece, one mouthpiece and one face panel. Then you're going to want to take your nose panel and your mouth panel, place right sides together and sew along the top edge. And we're using about a quarter inch seam allowance. And if you don't have a serger, it's not a big deal. Just use a zigzag stitch. And we're going to go ahead and add a top stitch. So all you have to do is roll that inside edge over and stitch on top. And I recommend using thread that matches the fabric because it looks a lot nicer in the end. Now we're going to attach this panel to the rest of the face mask. And all you have to do is sew around that curve. I recommend going slow to start because it can be a little tricky sewing around that curve. And again, if you don't have a serger, it's not really a big deal. Just use a zigzag stitch. And honestly, it can be a little bit tricky using a serger to attach that. So I recommend just using a regular sewing machine to attach that front panel. And then next, we're going to be top stitching around that curve. And it's done the same way. Just fold that inside seam over and stitch on top of it. And definitely just take your time going around that curve. Try to make it super neat so that way you don't see any imperfections in the end. And as you can see, the top stitch adds for a nice flat front and also holds the seams down on the inside so it's not rubbing up against your face all the time. Now we're going to be adding bias tape all the way around the outside edge. And bias tape is just cut on a diagonal of your fabric. And we're going to be using a little bit stretchy fabric and also a bias tape binder. And as you can see, we switched up to our industrial machine and you don't have to do this. This is the only bias tape binder we have and it's on our industrial sewing machine. So that's what we're doing. You can get them for your domestic machines, but all you have to do is put your bias tape in it and feed it through and sew. And that's pretty much it. It's super easy. Just go all the way around the outside edge. And I highly recommend everyone having one of these. We put a link in the bio, so go and check that out. But they're awesome to use and it just makes your life so much easier when you're trying to put bias tape on. And once you get towards the edge, snip the starting point and then sew right through. And it's super easy and that's what I do. And then snip it again and you're good to go. And then lastly, we're gonna be adding Velcro so you can take it on and off really easy. And pretty much any Velcro will work. We're using adhesive because it's easy to stick it on and then find the right place where you want it to close. And then from there, sew it on. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's on those back curves. So go ahead and put one on the inside and one on the outside. So that way the back will overlap when you close it. And then sewing it on, just use a straight stitch and then go around the outside edge. Then go ahead and do this for both sides. And there you have it, your face mask is done. And next we're gonna be showing you how to make the easier version of the face mask. So what you're gonna do is take the face panel, place it on the fold, trace it and cut it out. And this one is super simple because you're working with just one piece of fabric and you don't have to mess around with any top stitching or sewing on other panels. And then once you have that cut out, go ahead and get your bias tape ready. And if you skipped ahead, bias tape is just cut on a diagonal of your fabric and we're using it with a bias tape binder. And I recommend skipping back if you wanna see more about that, but essentially all you're doing is going around the outside edge. And once you get towards the edge, snip the starting point and then sew right through. And it's super easy. And that's what I do. And then snip it again and you're good to go. And then lastly, we're going to be adding Velcro so you can take it on and off really easy. And pretty much any Velcro will work. We're using adhesive because it's easy to stick it on and then find the right place where you want it to close. 
and then from there sew it on and you're gonna want to make sure it's on those back curves so go ahead and put one on the inside and one on the outside so that way the back will overlap when you close it and then sewing it on just use a straight stitch and then go around the outside edge then go ahead and do this for both sides and I recommend using thread that matches so that way you don't see the square where you're sewing it on from the outside and there you have it you're done your two different styles of face masks are complete and like always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. And if you have any other videos you want to see done, be sure to send them our way. We'll try to make it happen for you. But until then, we're going to keep the videos coming at you, and we'll see you next time.